Hey everyone, it's 747 Cuber, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Alright, so this is a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, or a Rubik's Cube as it's more known. Um, so basically, I'm just going to go over, first we're going to start off with basic things like each type of piece and notation and all that good stuff. So first of all, let's start off with the color scheme. So, so white opposite yellow, green is always opposite of blue, and orange is always opposite of red. Alright, next up we're going to go over what type of pieces there are. So there are six center pieces, and no matter how we scramble the cube, like any way at all, the center pieces will always be at the same spot relative from each other. So for example, white's always here, green's always there, blue's opposite, and you know, the color scheme never changes. Next up we have edge pieces. There are going to be 12 edge pieces on a 3x3, and those will contain two different colors, for example, white and orange. The last type of piece is a corner piece. There's eight corner pieces, and they all contain three colors on each piece. So for example, white, orange, and blue. Now there are 43 quintillion combinations on a 3x3. However, that doesn't make it very difficult to solve, actually. It's actually quite easy once you learn it. So first step we're going to do is we're going to make a cross. So here's a cross. And then we're going to fill in the corners. Now we're going to fill in the second layer edges. We're going to orient the last layer edges, permute the last layer edges, permute the last layer corners, and then finally we're going to orient the last layer corners, and that will be your solve. Alright, so another important thing is notation. So each face has a specific letter corresponding to it. So U will mean to turn the top face. R will mean to turn the face on the right. L will mean the left face. F will mean the front. B will mean the back. And D will mean the bottom face. And if it's just the letter, that means you'll, ret you'll be turning it 90 degrees clockwise, like this. R, L, U, D, F, B. If there is an apostrophe or an I next to the letter, that means to turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So U prime, R prime, F prime, L prime, B prime, and D prime. And if there is a two next to the letter, that means you turn the face 180 degrees in any direction. So R2, U2, L2, F2, B2, and D2. Um, so what you want to do first is make a cross. So you want to find a, we're going to find an edge piece to put into the white layers. So, so since there's already a white piece right here, we're going to see, and this piece is white and red. So we find the red center and we turn that over there. Next up, we're going to find another piece. So there's this blue and white cross piece since it's lined up here. And so there's the blue and there's the white. So we just put it there. Next up, we have this green and white cross piece. So this is not lined up with green to green, so what you want to do is put it on the side and then do R prime to put it in its, to line up the green with the green and then insert it into the cross like that. Lastly we have this piece, so what you want to do is move this piece up to the top and then since it's also not lined up you put it up to the side and then do R prime and then finish the cross and then do an R once that piece is in and you have a complete cross. Next step is to insert each corner. So we're going to start off with a random corner. Let's choose this corner. So you want to make sure you have a corner that has white. So we have this corner is green, red, and white. So we want to find the green and red sides. So there's the green center and the red center. So what you want to do is move the corner um, in between the two faces. And then you're going to want to do this sequence of moves. R, U, R prime, U prime. You want to do that until the white piece, until the white part of the corner is on the white side. 
R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime. And so as you can see, the red is lined with the red, the green is lined with the green, and the white is matched with the white. So next up, we're going to do another corner piece. So this one, blue and red. So move it next to the blue and red. And R U R prime U prime 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 R U R prime U prime. And now this piece is in the right spot. So let's say there are no white corner pieces at the top of the cube. How, so you'll just want to find one that's not in its correct spot. So for example, this orange, green, and white should be over here. So what you'll do is you'll do R, U, R prime to get that out of the slot. And then you're going to move it to the correct position. So for this corner, it's in between the orange and green. So next you do R, U, R prime, U prime until it's in the right slot. And the last piece is this piece. So we're just going to do that same way we did with the rest of them. Next up, we're on to adding the edges into each sides. So this is the second most complicated algorithm you're going to need to learn in this one. So first thing you want to do is find an edge piece at the top layer that is not yellow. So it does not have yellow on it. So what you want to do is the one that is facing you. So not the one that's facing up, but the piece, the color that's facing you, you want to line it up with the respective center. So then you want to see if this edge would go in here or in here. So for example, this edge is red and blue. So you don't want to put it in the red and green slot. You want to put it into the red and blue slot in between these two. If you need to insert it to the left, here's what you're going to do. U prime, L prime, U, L, F prime, L, F, L prime, like that. So next up, let's find another edge. So here's the orange and blue. So we're going to line up the orange with the orange. And since the blue is on the right, you're going to do this algorithm instead. U, R, U prime, R prime, F, R prime, F prime, R. And so that will put it in its correct slot like that. Let's say all the edges at the top have yellow. So what you're going to do in that situation, so just find an edge to take out that is not in the correct slot. So for example, this edge is in the wrong place. And you could just do your algorithm to take it out. Lastly, we have another edge. So we're just going to line it up green to green and we're going to do the left insert algorithm. Like that. All right, so now we have our first two layers solved like that. So next step is to orient the edges for the last layer. So there are three possible cases that you'll have for the last layer. So first one we're going to do is if there is a bar like this. So it is a straight line. Ignore the corners. The oriented edges are going to make a straight line like that. So what you want to do in that case is this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So I'm just going to repeat that again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Next case is if the oriented edges make like an L shape like this. So what you want to do is face it so that there's a yellow on the top and the left. And so like that. And so the algorithm you're going to do with this case is this one. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. The last case is if none of the edges are oriented correctly and all you see is a dot. So in this case, you're going to want to do one of the two algorithms. So we're going to use the F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then you want to orient the resulting case the right way. So like that. And then you'll do the respective algorithm for whichever case you get. Now what we're going to do is we're going to permute the edges into their correct slots. So what you want to do is to turn the U face until you find a case where only one edge is in the correct slot. So as you can see, we have two edges in the right slot, so that's not right. All right, so as you can see, we have one edge in the correct slot, so orange is matched with the orange center. However, this one is red and green, blue and red, green and blue. So now make sure that the correct edge is facing you and do the following algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now that may line up the edges correctly. However, if these edges are not aligned up, then what you want to do is do the algorithm again. 
r u r prime u r u two r prime. And now the edges should be in the correct slot. If you are only able to get zero or two edges into the correct slot, then what you just want to do is anywhere at all, just do r u r prime u r u two r prime. And then rotate the U layer until only one edge is in the correct slot, and then do the algorithm from before. Alright, now what you want to do is get the corners in the correct slot. So you want to find any possible corners that are already in the correct positions. And so this corner has yellow, green, and orange. And that slot is surrounded by yellow, green, and orange. So what you want to do, if these three corners are not in the correct slot, then you're going to want to do this algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And that might put the corners in the correct slot, but if it doesn't, then you want to do the algorithm again. So if there are no corners in the correct slot, then you'll just do the algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And now there is one corner in the correct slot. All right, so now all the corners are in the correct slot. However, we still need to orient the corners of the last layer. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to flip the cube back around and then put an unsolved corner at the bottom right over here. Now you're going to do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. And keep repeating that until that corner is solved correctly. So now that that corner is oriented correctly, you're going to do D until you have another corner that's not oriented right. Then you're going to keep repeating the R, U, R prime, U prime. And you're going to keep repeating R, U, R prime, U prime until that one's oriented right. So now that this corner is oriented right, we're going to do another D. And we have the last corner that we need to orient, so keep doing that. And then finally, you could just move the last side to solve the cube like that. So that concludes this week's video on how to solve a 3x3. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.